Hey guys, I am making one of my favorite snacks and some of you have requested it as well and it is cauliflower pakoras. Um, they're really easy to make as I'll show you now uh, and also they are so Moorish. They are great if you're having a party for a canapes because you can make them beforehand and then reheat them in the oven just before your guests arrive um, or just for yourself on a weekend. So I have got some and it's gluten free. I've got some gram flour here. So that's around 100 grams of uh, gram flour. And to this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of amjur powder or mango powder and one teaspoon of roasted fennel seeds and all of this will go into the gram flour and I've got 150 ml of water but uh, we won't add all of it like always we just want a nice um, runny uh, batter that's going to coat the cauliflower beautifully so we'll slowly add this and while adding we'll keep mixing it you can use a spoon but I prefer to use my hands just because I know uh, when it's the right consistency. I've got all the water in and we've just got the right runny consistency as you can see and that's our batter ready. I've just got a whole cauliflower here and if you just chop these florets as they are um, and then you can cut them into equal kind of sizes so if I just get a handful of florets out first you want them to be similar sizes so I'm just going to cut this into two pieces and these go straight into the batter easy peasy just make sure you've coated them well I've got some sunflower oil in here and it's nice and hot if you want to know it's roughly 190 C temperature and I'm just going to reduce the heat to medium because it's on high heat right now we don't want the pakoras to be golden yet we just want to cook this through um, and just very lightly when you see it's starting to turn golden and that's when we'll take them out because these pakoras are double fried I know but you're not eating them every day so it's for special occasions and you can see they are ready now so we're just gonna get them out on some kitchen roll just to get rid of some extra oil always remember never to put these pakoras to cook in in any cold oil it needs to be piping hot because if it's cold then your pakoras will be very greasy and just very oily basically so the whole batch of pakoras are done the first round of frying is done and I'm going to take one piece at a time and I've got two kitchen tissues here um, just put one in between the two and then with the palm of your hand just press it gently what we're trying to do is flatten it slightly because when we fry it again it crisps up beautifully um, and right now it's all soft it's not crispy pakora uh, but once we've done this you're going to get a really crunchy delicious cauliflower pakora we'll put the flattened pakoras back into the hot oil and this time we are going to let it cook until they are really lovely golden color and also we leave the heat high because um, we want it to quick cook quickly look at how beautifully golden they are and where I have squashed them um, it's going to crisp up even more and it's going to cook the cauliflower through Oh, they are so crispy, God. And I, I'm serving them today with some tamarind and date chutney. And you can find the recipe of that on my channel. And by the way, this recipe of cauliflower pakora is in my book, Chai Chat and Chutney. And also the chutney is in there as well. So crispy. Oh, butter is so crispy now. But the cauliflower is still soft and the fennel flavor is coming through and it tastes super, super good with tamarind chutney.